Breakfast, Wikipedia article audio. Breakfast is the first meal of a day, most often eaten in the early morning before undertaking the day's work. The word in English refers to breaking the fasting period of the prior night. There is a strong tendency for one or more typical, or traditional, breakfast menus to exist in most places, but the composition of this varies widely from place to place, and has varied over time, so that globally a very wide range of preparations and ingredients are now associated with breakfast. The Old English word for dinner, disner, means to break a fast, and was the first meal eaten in the day until its meaning shifted in the mid-13th century. It was not until the 15th century that breakfast came into use in written English to describe a morning meal, six which literally means to break the fasting period of the prior night, in Old English the term was morgan meat meaning morning meal. History Effect on Health while breakfast is commonly referred to as the most important meal of the day, particularly for children, some epidemiological research indicates that having breakfast high in rapidly available carbohydrates increases the risk of metabolic syndrome. Present professional opinion is largely in favor of eating breakfast, but some contest the positive implications of its most important status. The influence of breakfast on managing body weight is unclear. Breakfasts in Africa varies greatly from region to region. Most Egyptians begin the day with a light breakfast. Full metamis, one of Egypt's several national dishes, is typical. It is seasoned with salt and cumin, garnished with vegetable oil and optionally with tahini, chopped parsley, chopped tomato, garlic, onion, lemon juice, chili pepper, and often served topped with a boiled egg. It is scooped up and eaten with the staple whole wheat pita bread called esh masri or esh baladi, modern standard Arabic, I and usually accompanied by tamiya which is the local variant of falafel made with fava beans fresh-cut homemade French fries and various fresh or pickled vegetables. Several kinds of cheeses are popular, including Gebnaba or Domiati cheese, Gebnarmi which is similar to Pecorino Romano or Manchego, and Istanbuli cheese. Fried eggs with past Irma is also common breakfast foods in Egypt. For breakfast, Many Moroccans eat bread, harsha, or misemin with olive oil, tea, and different kinds of Moroccan crepes. Nigeria has over 250 different ethnic groups, with a corresponding variety of cuisines. For the Hausa of northern Nigeria, a typical breakfast consists of kose or funkezo. Both of these cakes can be served with porridge and sugar known as cocoa. For the southwestern Yoruba people one of the most common breakfasts is ajia porridge made from corn, usually served with evaporated milk. Aji is eaten with akarage or moi moi. Both are made from ground bean paste, akara is fried in oil, and moi moi is wrapped in leaves or foil and then steamed. Aji can also be steamed in leaves to harden it and eaten with akara or moi moi for breakfast. English tea or malta is served as a breakfast drink. Another popular option in southwest Nigeria is gari, which is eaten like a cereal. Gari, known in Brazil as farofa, is made from the root of cassava. For breakfast, it is soaked in water and sweetened with sugar. Africa. Breakfast typically consists of café tauba, spiced coffee with abundant sugar sometimes consumed with dried milk, or king kaliba tea. Small beignet and fresh fruit, including mangoes and bananas, are often part of a simple breakfast, and are accompanied by baguette with various spreads, chocolica, a Nutella equivalent made from peanuts, butter, or processed mild cheese. 
Breakfast is an important meal for Somalis, who often start the day with some style of tea. The main dish is typically a pancake-like bread. It might also be eaten with a stew or soup. Laha is a pancake-like bread originating in Somalia, Djibouti, and Yemen. It is often eaten along with honey and ghee or beef jerky, and washed down with a cup of tea. During lunch, laha is sometimes consumed with soup or stew. Egypt Lablabi is a common and popular breakfast stew. In Uganda, most tribes have different cuisines but the most popular breakfast dishes are porridge and katago. Porridge is made by mixing maize flour or millet flour with water and bringing the mixture to a boil. While katago is made from matoke, peeled and cooked in the same pot with a sauce, katago is served with tea or juice. Both dishes are popular in all regions of Uganda. Breakfasts vary widely throughout Asia. In Arab countries, breakfast is often a quick meal consisting of bread and dairy products, with tea, and sometimes jam. Flat bread with olive oil and zaitar is also popular. Morocco As mainland China is made up of many distinct provinces each with their own unique cuisine, breakfast in China can vary significantly from province to province. In general, Basic choices include sweet or salty pancakes, soup, deep-fried bread sticks or donuts, buns, porridge, and fried or soup-based noodles. These options are often accompanied by tea or sweetened soybean milk. However, condiments for porridge and the soup base tend to vary between provinces and regions. The types of teas that are served and spices that are used can also differ significantly between the provinces. Nigeria Due to its near two centuries history as a British colony and proximity to China's Canton region, both English and traditional Cantonese-style breakfasts are of somewhat equal popularity in Hong Kong, as well as the hybrid form of breakfast commonly offered in Cha Chin Teng. Cha Chin Teng breakfasts often include Hong Kong-style milk tea, pan-fried egg, bread, Cantonese noodles, or Hong Kong-style macaroni in soup. Traditional Cantonese breakfast may include dim sum, which include a variety of different ingredients and are prepared in numerous different forms from delicately wrapped baby shrimp steamed dumplings to sweet water chestnut cake. Each dish is designed to be sampled and diners can go through a large selection of dim sum quickly accompanied by a generous amount of good tea. Taiguanyin is the most common accompaniment, but other teas such as Puer and Oolong are also common. Fried and rice-based noodles and cakes are also popular. In modern times, Dim sum is commonly prepared and served in yum char restaurants rather than at home because of the skill and efforts involved in the preparation. Senegal In all, there are at least 25 types of Indian breakfasts, each consisting of a choice of over 100 different food items. Each state in India has different specialties and items for breakfast. Thus there is no single standard Indian breakfast, with items changing with regions. However, one can broadly classify breakfast varieties in India into two types, North Indian and South Indian. The eastern and western parts of India also have individual breakfast items unique to their culture or state. A typical South Indian breakfast consists of idli veda or dosa coupled with chutney and sambar. Many variations of these dishes exist such as rava idli, the ir vade, sambar veda and masala dosa. Other popular South Indian breakfast items are pungal, bizai blabath, upma, and puri. The state of Kerala has some special breakfast items such as apam, parada, puttu, idiyapam, and palapam.
Somalia. A typical North Indian breakfast may either be a type of paratha or roti served with a vegetable curry, curd, and pickles. There are several varieties of parathats available depending on the type of stuffing such as a la paratha, painer paratha, muli paratha, etc. Other popular breakfast items in the north are puri beji, poha, and bindi bujia. Among Bengals roti and curry are the general variants in breakfast. The menu may also include Indian French toast which is also known as Bombay toast, chire beja, and boiled eggs. In western India, a Gujarati household may serve doklas, kukras, or thaplas for breakfast, the most popular of which is mathithapla. In Mangalore the breakfast delicacy undis may be served. In Maharashtra typical breakfast consists of kanda pohi, upma, ukad, thalapith, spiced puree. Sometimes chapati beji or chapati roll with tea becomes breakfast. South Indian doses served with chutney and sambar. A South Indian breakfast with idlis and aveda, served with chutney and sambar. Tunisia Alu Paratha Uganda Doklas being sold in a market in Gujarat Breakfast in Iran generally consists of different kinds of flatbread such as barberi, taftun, sanguk, lavish, white cheese, butter, jam and marmalade, honey, clotted cream, nuts and fresh slash dried fruits, and black tea or coffee. Frequently breakfast can be as simple as butter and jam on bread with tea. Iranians prefer to drink their hot black tea with sugar. Traditional cooked dishes for breakfast include hale am or kale patch, adesai, fried slash boiled slash soft boiled eggs, omelet. The Israeli breakfast is a mix of culinary influences from Eastern Europe, agrarian yeshuv culture, North African cuisine and Levantine cuisine. It usually consists of a range of cheeses along with sliced vegetables, scrambled eggs and bread, served with spreads like butter, jam, or honey. The most commonly used vegetables are cucumbers, tomatoes, and red bell peppers, Carrots, onions, and radishes may also be included. Cheeses include, at the very least, cottage cheese, quark or fromage blanc, and a local variety of gouda, and often pfadi and labna too. Side dishes including pickled olives and herring may also be served. Typical Middle Eastern mezzi such as Israeli salad, hummus, tahina, and baba ganesh as well as shukshauka and a variety of salads may be served. The meal is most often accompanied by coffee, tea, and orange juice. A typical Israeli meal could be either dairy or meat-based, but not both. Only certain types of meat are considered kosher. Israeli hotels usually present this type of breakfast as a buffet. Restaurants may prefer a preset Israeli breakfast menu item. Asia China India Iran Breakfast in modern Japanese households comes in two major variations, Japanese style and Western style. Japanese style breakfasts are eaten widely in Japan, but often only on weekends and non-working days. Younger Japanese couples may prefer Western-style breakfasts because they are generally less time-consuming to prepare. The standard Japanese breakfast consists of steamed white rice, a bowl of miso soup, and Japanese-styled pickles. A raw egg and nori are often served, the raw egg is beaten in a small bowl and poured on the hot rice to make golden-colored tomago cake gohan whilst the nori is used to wrap rice. Grilled fish and Japanese green tea are often served as well.
Western style breakfasts in Japanese households are similar to those in the United States. Japanese children often eat corn flakes and drink milk, hot chocolate, or fruit juice. Japanese adults tend to have toast with butter or jam, eggs, and slices of vegetables. They often drink coffee or orange juice. Traditional Japanese inns serve complete traditional breakfast. Western-style hotels and restaurants in Japan generally offer a mix of the Western and Japanese styles. Traditionally, Korean breakfasts consist mainly of rice and soup dishes. These can include small amounts of fish or beef, and some form of broth, stew, or porridge. Like all Korean meals, breakfast is usually served with banchan, or side dishes consisting of kimchi, jiren jjim, and tofu. In Burma the traditional breakfast is hdaemin ja, fried rice with boiled peas, and yang wei jan, especially among the poor. Glutinous rice or khao hnyan is steamed and wrapped in banana leaf often served with peas as khao hnyan bong with a sprinkle of crushed and salted toasted sesame. Equally popular is the purple variety of rice known as na cheek which is cooked the same way and called na cheek pong. Si daemon is sticky rice cooked with turmeric and onions and peanut oil which is served with crushed and salted toasted sesame and crisp fried onions. Assorted fritters such as baya ja are often served as a complement. Nan bia or naan again with pe bihuk or simply buttered is served with Indian tea or coffee. It goes well with siak soup. Fried chapati, blistered like naan bia but crispy, with pe bihuk and crispy fried onions is a popular alternative. Dat tai, lit. A hundred layers, is flaky multi-layered fried paratha served with either pe bihuk or a sprinkle of sugar. Egypt way with Indian tea or coffee is another favorite. Mohinga, perhaps the most popular of all, now available as an all-day breakfast in many towns and cities, is rice vermicelli in fish broth kept on the boil with chickpea flour or crushed toasted rice, lemon grass, sliced banana stem, onions, garlic, ginger, pepper and fish paste and served with crispy fried onions, crushed dried chili, coriander, fish sauce, and lime. Add fritters such as split chickpea, urad dal, or gourd, boiled egg and fried fish cake. A traditional Filipino breakfast might include pandasal, kesong puti, champarado, sanangag, and meat such as tapa, longanisa, tocino, carn norte, or fish such as dang na bangus or itlog na pula. Coffee is also commonly served particularly kapang barako, a variety of coffee produced in the mountains of Batangas noted for having a strong flavor. Certain portmanteaus in Filipino have come into use to describe popular combinations of items in a Filipino breakfast. An example of such a combination order is Kang Kamtu, an order of Gan In, Kem Atis and Tio. Another is Tapsi, an order of Ta Pa and Si Nangig. Other examples include variations using a silag suffix, usually some kind of meat served with Si Nangig and it log. The three most commonly seen silags are Tapsi Log, Toslug, and Long's eye log. Other silags include Hot's eye log, Bang's eye log, Dang's eye log, Spam's eye log, Adu's eye log, Cha's eye log, Cheek's eye log, Corn's eye log, and Lit's eye log. Pankaplog is a slang term referring to a breakfast consisting of pandasal, kapi, and eye log. An establishment that specializes in such meals is called a tapsihan or tapsalugan. Israel. A traditional Singaporean breakfast contains kaya toast, half-boiled eggs and kopi. 
Locals usually dip the toast into the eggs mixed with soy sauce and pepper. In Turkish cuisine, a typical breakfast consists of bread, cheese, butter, olives, eggs, tomatoes, cucumbers, jam, honey, and kamak. Sukuk, pastrama, borak, simit, poat and soups are eaten as a morning meal in Turkey. A common Turkish specialty for breakfast is called maniman, which is prepared with tomatoes, green peppers, onion, olive oil and eggs. Various soups are also very common and traditional for Turkish breakfast, mainly chicken broth, lentil soup and a national delicacy, tarhana soup are most well-known soups. Tripe soup, trotter soup, Sheep's head soup are also traditionally very common all over Turkey for breakfast. The Turkish word for breakfast, kahvalt, means before coffee. But since after the First World War, during which the Ottoman Empire lost its coffee-producing territories, tea has displaced coffee as the everyday hot drink in Turkey. In Serkisai district of Istanbul, Pied is a popular morning meal. Prior to the Second World War and the widespread adoption of household refrigerators, the traditional Australian breakfast consisted of grilled steaks and fried eggs, mainly because of the ready availability of beef steak during that period. Although this is still eaten in the bush, very few urban Australians today would recall this breakfast format but the steak and eggs breakfast has survived as the customary pre-landing breakfast of the United States Marine Corps, due to the Marines having copied it from Australian soldiers when the two countries campaigned together during the Pacific War. Japan Korea Myanmar the majority of urban Australians eat commercially prepared cereal with paste urist milk or yogurt and toast with preserves such as marmalade or Vegemite for breakfast. Two of the most common cereals are cornflakes and a type of biscuit made from wheat, called wheat bix. Fruit is also common at breakfast, either on the cereal or eaten separately. While not unusual, a cooked breakfast is more likely to be eaten on weekends or on special occasions either at home or at a cafe. A cooked breakfast can include sausage, bacon, breakfast steaks, mushrooms, tomato, hash browns and pancakes, similar to both the British and American cooked breakfast. Breakfast habits differ more between age groups or families than between cities. In ethnically Fijian villages, breakfast may be tea served with milk and sugar, and food made out of flour, tovoy or babeko, pancakes, bread, or biscuits with butter. Sometimes a starch, such as cassava, taro in coconut milk, or rice, is served instead. Leftover fish or meat from the previous night's meal may be served as well. Tea made from lemon leaves and fruits such as pineapple, banana, papaya, plantain, and watermelon are also occasionally served. In urban households, tea and cereals are often consumed. Breakfast foods eaten by Fiji Indians often include a vegetable curry with roti and sometimes differ from the above. Fijians living in Rotuma sometimes eat naka fish in taro taro with fresh tropical fruits. Breakfast in New Zealand is very similar to the Australian breakfast. The range of processed breakfast cereals is vast and children are more likely to eat those that contain added sugar. New Zealanders, particularly in winter, are likely to eat a hot oat cereal called porridge. Porridge is typically served with milk, sugar, fruit, or yogurt. Sliced bread which has been toasted and topped with preserves or spreads is a common alternative breakfast. Eating breakfast at a restaurant was unheard of until the 1990s, however cafes which serve breakfast until midday or all day are now common.
The big breakfast is the main item at cafes, which is similar to the British cooked breakfast, except that it seldom includes black pudding. Other common menu items are, eggs done how you like, eggs benedict, beans on toast, pancakes, cereal and yogurt, and smoothies. Breakfast nearly always includes coffee, tea or both with children drinking milk either on their cereal, in a glass or hot Milo. Recent concern has been raised about the cost of milk and some families being unable to afford it. New Zealand chains of the fast food franchise McDonald's offer a Kiwi Big Breakfast which includes two sausages, hash brown, scrambled eggs, toasted muffin and choice of a small filter coffee, hot chocolate, or tea. Some NGOs and charities, such as the New Zealand Red Cross, provide breakfast to underclass primary school children. Survey results released in 2013 claim that nearly half of all New Zealanders skip breakfast at least once a week with almost a third of those skipping breakfast up to three times a week. According to Merriam-Webster, a continental breakfast usually includes coffee, jam, fruit and baked goods such as bread and pastries, items chosen because they are shelf-stable, and can be served in portion sizes that are appropriate for large groups of people. The term originated in Britain in the mid-19th century, first used in 1896 public hygiene book The Sanitarian, in which continent refers to the countries of mainland Europe, though the idea had been around for a few decades as American hotels endeavored to appeal to the changing tastes of the emerging middle class and European travelers visiting America. The term refers to the type of breakfast found in places such France and the Mediterranean, which is lighter and more delicate than the typical full English breakfast, which tends to consist of a large plate of eggs, bacon, sausage, toast, beans, and roasted mushrooms and tomatoes, and American breakfasts featuring eggs, breakfast meats, pancakes, potatoes, and toast. Continental breakfasts are also more cost-effective for the establishments serving them because they require less staff to prepare them. Philippines In Southeast Europe, in countries such as Bulgaria, Bosnia, Montenegro, Macedonia and parts of Croatia breakfast usually consists of various kinds of savory or sweet pastry, with cheese, meat or jam filling. The most typical breakfast consists of two slices of birk and a glass of yogurt. Breakfast also often consists of open sandwiches. The sandwich is buttered, with toppings such as prosciutto and yellow cheese. In Albania the breakfast often consists of a scone, milk, tea, eggs, jam or cheese. Meat is not preferred during the breakfast and it is usually substituted for seafood such as canned sardines or tuna which is typically served with condiments such as mustard or mayonnaise. Whole grain cereals and pastries are mostly consumed by children. In Croatia the base is a continental breakfast with a variety of pastries with or without fillings and fermented milk products. Cold cuts such as prosciutto, ham, salami, kalen, bacon, and various cheeses, are also favored. Fried eggs or omelette and Vienna sausage with mayonnaise, mustard, or ashver are very often consumed. In continental parts Sir Ivernier is traditional. Coffee is much preferred over tea. A typical breakfast in Denmark consists of slices of rye bread with yellow cheese, a soft-boiled egg or more rarely ham, salami, or liver spread or it may consist of breakfast cereals such as oatmeal, corn flakes, yogurt being popular options. White bread or bread rolls with yellow cheese and different kinds of jams, usually made from berries or citrus fruits, and other toppings, 
accompanied by coffee, or tea. Weekends or festive occasions may call for Danish pastries, chocolate, or a bitters, such as Gamal Dansk. Breakfast usually consists of coffee or tea with open sandwiches. The sandwich is often buttered, with toppings such as hard cheese or cold cuts. Finns usually do not have sweets on their breads such as jam, or chocolate. Sour milk products such as yogurt or aili are also common breakfast foods, usually served in a bowl with cereals such as corn flakes, muesli, and sometimes with sugar, fruit, or jam. Oatmeal or mixed grain porridge may also be served, usually topped with butter. In France, a typical domestic breakfast consists of a cup of coffee, often café au lait, or hot chocolate, sometimes accompanied by a glass of orange or grapefruit juice. The main food consists of sweet products such as tartines, sometimes dunked in the hot drink. Brioches and other pastries such as croissants, panes au chocolate and panes auxiliary raisins are also traditional, but more of a weekend special treat. Other products such as breakfast cereals, fruit compote, fromage blanc and yogurt are becoming increasingly common as part of the meal. A traditional French breakfast does not include any savory product, but breakfast buffets in hotels often include ham, cheese and eggs. The typical German breakfast consists of bread or bread rolls, butter, jam, ham, cheeses, meat spreads, cold cuts, hard or soft-boiled eggs and coffee or tea. Cereals have become popular, and regional variation is significant. Yogurt, granola, and fruit may appear, as well as eggs cooked to order. A second breakfast is traditional in parts of Germany, notably Bavaria where it is called Bratseat. Home breakfasts in Greece include bread with butter, honey, or marmalade with coffee or milk. Breakfast cereals are also eaten. Children also eat Nutella-type cream on bread. No breakfast at all is common. Various kinds of savory pastry are also eaten for breakfast, also by those eating out, usually accompanied with Greek coffee or frappe coffee. Traditional Greek breakfast was also available in special milk shops. Milk shops were phased out between 1970 and 1990 there are very few left, one is in Athens and some in small towns. In Hungary people usually have a large breakfast. Hungarian breakfast generally is an open sandwich with fresh bread or a toast, butter, cheese, or different cream cheeses, turo cheese or karosat, cold cuts such as ham, liver pate, bacon, salami, beef tongue, mortadella, desnosaged, different Hungarian sausages or kalbaz. Even eggs, French toast called bundas kenir and vegetables are part of the Hungarian breakfast. Sometimes breakfast is a cup of milk, tea, or coffee with pastries, bread rolls or crescent-shaped bread, toast, pastries with different fillings, butter, jam, or honey in a bun or a strudel Hungarian cuisine, or cereal like muesli and perhaps fruit. The traditional breakfast in Italy simply consists of a café latte with bread or rolls, butter, and jam known as prima colazione or just colazione. Fetti biscottate and biscotti are commonly eaten. Hot coffee may be sometimes replaced by hot tea, depending on personal taste. Children often drink hot chocolate, plain milk, hot milk with barley coffee, or hot milk with very little coffee. Cereals, yogurt, and fruit juices are also common. If breakfast is eaten in a bar, it is composed of cappuccino and cornetto. It is not uncommon for Italians to have a quick breakfast snack during the morning. 
Singapore, Turkey. Typical Latvian breakfast usually consists of open sandwiches with toppings made of vegetables, fish, eggs or cheese. Just like Finland it is often buttered with margarine. Curd mixed with vegetables and salt as well as other sour milk products are very popular as well. Very often light oat porridge is eaten too. In general light, sour and salty tasting food is common for morning meal. Latvians usually drink coffee for breakfast. On the island of Malta, breakfast integrates both British and continental elements. Usually the Maltese start their day with a bowl of cereal mixed with milk, sometimes with a cup of coffee or tea. Marmalade slash jams or even chocolate spreads are also common on bread or toast. Today cereal bars are also becoming a common type of breakfast on the island. The traditional English breakfast of eggs, sausages and fried bacon was also popular among the Maltese especially on Sundays, due to the strong British influence on the island but this has diminished almost completely, as locals have rediscovered a more Mediterranean and continental diet over the recent years. Hotels usually serve both a continental as well as a full English breakfast. Prayers are often said before breakfast in order to bless the meal. Australia slash Oceania for breakfast, Dutch and Belgians typically eat sliced bread with butter or margarine and various choices of toppings, dairy products, a variety of cured and sliced meats, or sweet or semi-sweet products such as jam, syrup, honey, cocos brood, or peanut butter. Another type of sweet toppings are the chocolate toppings, the Dutch have chocolate toppings in all variations, Hagel slag, chocolate devloken, and chocolate de pasta. Tea, dripolator coffee, milk, and juice are the most popular breakfast beverages. Breakfast may also include raisin bread and fried or boiled eggs. On special occasions, such as Easter, Christmas, Mother's Day, etc., breakfast is usually the same, but with a wider range of choices. Australia Fiji New Zealand Europe Albania Croatia Denmark Finland France Germany and Austria Greece Hungary Italy Latvia a 2012 opinion poll concluded that the Dutch believe that breakfast should be a more important meal than it is and that more time should be spent on it, almost three quarters of those polled ate their sandwiches in less than 15 minutes, and blame for an all too quick breakfast was placed on fast breakfast products. A perfect weekend breakfast for the Dutch contained coffee or tea, fresh baked bread rolls, and a boiled egg. The poll also concluded that men are more interested than women in having breakfast with their partner. 80% of Norwegians eat breakfast daily, mostly at home. The most common breakfast is open sandwiches, often whole wheat bread, with cheese, often Jarlsberg, Norvegia or Brunost, cold cuts, leverpaste, jam etc. Common drinks are water, various types of coffee such as French press, café latte or espresso, milk and juice. Another common breakfast is breakfast cereals like corn flakes eaten with milk, cool termek, or yogurt. Whole grain porridges with regular milk or butter are also eaten by some. More ample breakfasts may include fish, a diverse array of cheese, eggs, bacon, breads, and hot and cold cereals eaten in various combinations. 
Pastries such as croissants or pain au chocolate have become increasingly common since the 1990s. The traditional Polish breakfast is a large spread with a variety of sides eaten with bread or toast. Sides include various cold cuts, meat spreads, the Polish sausage kielbasa, tomatoes, Swiss cheese, and sliced pickles. Twerog, a Polish cheese, is the breakfast classic and comes in many forms. Twerog can be eaten plain, with salt, sugar, or honey, or it can be mixed with chives into a cream cheese-like spread. Eggs are served often as the main breakfast item, mostly soft-boiled or scrambled. For a quick winter breakfast, hot oatmeal, to which cocoa is sometimes added, is often served. Jam spreads are popular for a quick breakfast, including plum, raspberry, and black or red currant spreads. Breakfast drinks include coffee, milk, hot cocoa, or tea. Traditionally, the Poles avoid heavy cooked foods for breakfast. For the most part, one will not see fried meats or potatoes in a classic Polish breakfast. Emphasis is placed on a large variety of foods to satisfy everyone at the breakfast table. The traditional Romanian breakfast is milk, tea, or coffee alongside bread with butter or margarine and on top of it, honey or fruit jams or preserves. Sometimes the buttered bread is served savory instead of sweet, in which case the Romanians add cured meats, salami, or cheese. Another option is to spread on a slice of bread some liver pate. In recent years, Romanians have also started to serve cereal with dried fruits and milk instead of the traditional breakfast, though that is not yet very widespread. According to a 2014 study, 35% of Romanians eat cooked dishes such as omelette or fried eggs and 15% eat sandwiches. Most people drink coffee and 67% serve Turkish coffee, though more and more people are starting to use drip or filter coffee. While crepes served with fruit preserves, jams, or cheese have traditionally been served as desserts, in the recent years more Romanians have started to have them as breakfast during weekends. Traditional Russian breakfasts are concentrated on kashas, or porridge is the most important staple in Russian nutritional culture, with buckwheat and oat, as well as semolina, serving as the three most important bases of such dishes, usually cooked on water or milk, as well as consumed with or without milk. Breakfast foods also include pancakes or olajishki. Olajishki are made from flour and rice on yeast. Blini or crepes, are also popular for breakfast and are also made with flour, but without the yeast. Cernaki, is a cheese form of pancake. Cernaki are made of tiva rog, which can be eaten separately with honey for breakfast. Also, a popular dish is buterbrod, open sandwiches with cold cuts and cheeses. In Serbia domestic breakfast may include, eggs in different forms, canned fish or open sandwiches with prosciutto or ham, feta cheese, and salad. Different types of pies and pastry with various filings are also served as the main dish. Yogurt and coffee are preferred breakfast drinks. In the past it was a custom to drink slow jivavica before breakfast and after that slatko with water. In central Spain there is a special breakfast known as chocolate concha os hot chocolate with Spanish-style fritters, which are extruded sticks of donut-like dough with a star-shaped profile covered in sugar. The chocolate drink is made very thick and sweet. In Madrid, chaos are somewhat smaller and shaped like a charity ribbon. This meal is normally served in cafeterias but it is not a regular or usual breakfast at Madrid homes. The usual one is the same as in the rest of Spain, 
coffee with milk or cola CAO, orange juice, biscuits, or toasts, with butter and jam. In the north, east, and west it is more common to have a cup of coffee or cola CAO and a toast with a choice of olive oil and salt, tomato and olive oil, butter, jam, pate, jamon serrano, and other options like sobrasada, and in Andalusia, pringa. Freshly squeezed orange juice is widely available in most places as an alternative for coffee. The breakfast is not often larger than these two items, because usually in late morning there is a break known as almuerzo when there is a snack. Sometimes, toast is replaced with galettas, magdalenas, or buns. Breakfast in Sweden is usually an open sandwich made of a large amount of different types of soft bread or crisp bread, cold cuts, smorgas caviar, cheese, cottage cheese, cream cheese, eggs, scrambled or boiled, pate with pickled cucumber, tomatoes, or cucumber, or a toast with marmalade or maybe honey, juices, coffee, hot chocolate or tea. Breakfast cereals or muesli with milk, yogurt, or film joke, currants and fruits are popular or warm whole grain porridge with milk and jam. Bilberry soup and rose hip soup are also possible breakfast alternatives. Swiss breakfasts are often similar to those eaten in neighboring countries. Traditionally, ZOPF is eaten on Sunday mornings and New Year's Day. A notable breakfast food of Swiss origin, now found throughout Europe, is muesli, introduced in 1900 by Maximilian Bircher Benner for patients in his hospital. In the contemporary UK and Ireland, a weekday breakfast may involve a cereal dish, such as muesli, porridge, or cereal, or toast or simply bread spread with jam or marmalade. Tea and coffee remain equally popular accompaniments. Marmalade, originally a Portuguese confection, had been a popular British spread to consume in the evening, before the Scots moved it to the breakfast table in the 18th century. It is however becoming very common to skip breakfast entirely or take coffee or pastries on the morning commute. Portable quick snacks such as granola bars, ready-cut fruit, and warm takeaway foods are becoming increasingly commonly consumed away from home and are sold at commuting points and newsagents and local shops in all urban areas. The traditional breakfast most associated with Britain and Ireland remains, however, the full breakfast of eggs with bacon and sausages, usually with mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans, fried bread, black pudding or white pudding and toast. Dating from a time when hard labor was more common, calorie intakes were necessarily higher, and servant labor was more available, it is nowadays regarded as a meal for the weekend or holidays when time is available for preparation, prepared by parents to welcome children, or as a special occasion such as a birthday or anniversary or following a night of drinking. A healthy and nutritious version consists of grilling the protein and using poached, rather than fried, eggs, and variations based on one egg, one protein, and toast abound. It remains by far the most common choice on brunch menus and breakfast cafes across the region. The full Scottish breakfast tends to omit pork sausages and have beef sausages or lamb haggis instead. At its most extensive it consists of eggs, square sausage, fried dumpling, potato scone, tomato, mushrooms, bacon beef links and fried bread. Originating in the British Isles during the Victorian era, the full breakfast is among the most internationally recognized British dishes. Another traditional British breakfast consists of porridge, although now associated with Scotland, it has been consumed across Britain as a staple food since at least the Middle Ages. 
The breakfast cereal Scott's Porridge Oats was produced in Glasgow in 1880. Before the arrival of American-style breakfast cereals in the early 20th century, dried bread soaked in hot milk or tea and porridge was the common daily breakfast, while leftover vegetables and potatoes not eaten the night before were often served refried becoming bubble and squeak, in Ireland the dish is known as call cannon. Traditionally, breakfast would be served with a small amount of fruit, such as a slice of orange, believed to prevent the onset of scurvy. Also traditional, but now less popular breakfasts included fish in the form of kippers with poached egg and toast, and kedgeri. Most British breakfasts are consumed with tea, coffee, or fruit juice. In Old English, breakfast was known as morgan meat, meaning morning meal. A continental breakfast in UK and Irish hotels normally consists of baked goods slices of cheese and cold meat, cereal, yogurts, fruit and drinks like coffee, tea or fruit juices. Although this is the traditional breakfast in parts of continental Europe, elsewhere these breakfasts are common only in the hospitality sector. As with other continents around the world, Breakfasts in North America vary widely from country to country. Breakfast in Canada is similar to that of the U.S. Traditional breakfast foods include pork sausages or bacon, fried potatoes, eggs, toast, cereals, pancakes and maple syrup, or hot oatmeal. Coffee and tea are both widely consumed in Canada during breakfast. In Costa Rica the most common breakfast is called Gallo Pinto, which basically is made up of rice and beans previously cooked. Sautéed in a pan with chili, onions, colantro, and bean stock for color. It is accompanied with fried egg, cheese, and fried plantain or cooking plantain. Black coffee as well as with milk are traditional drinks. As this is the most common breakfast of the country, in Limon province they prepare gallo pinto with coconut milk instead. Another popular breakfast food is the coritas which are basically savory sweet corn pancakes, they are usually accompanied with cheese or a type of sour cream called natala. Breakfast in urban areas traditionally consists of café con leche that is sweetened and includes a pinch of salt. Toasted buttered Cuban bread, cut into lengths, is dunked in the coffee. In rural Cuba, farmers eat roasted pork, beans, and white rice, café con leche and cuajita sweetened with caramel. In the Dominican Republic, breakfast varies depending on the region. In the interior of the island it is accustomed to have breakfast with a side of vegetables, the green plantain or cooking plantain being the most popular. It is served boiled or mashed known as mangu. In the capital, breakfast is more light. It includes coffee with milk or hot chocolate, along with bread, butter, and cheese. Normally accompanied by orange juice and other juices of fruits typical to the region. Milk punch boiled eggs with harina de negrito or some other type of cornstarch. Traditional breakfast bread is a water-based bread. In Guatemala, breakfast consists of one or two eggs either fried, scrambled or boiled accompanied by baked slash fried beans with coffee. With this comes fresh cream, fresh cheese, and fried plantains. It is common to add hot sauce made out of chill teeps. They are prepared raw or boiled, then they are ground with some vinegar, chopped onions, and chopped cilantro to make the hot sauce. A traditional egg dish prepared with both green and red sauces is called huevos de vorchados. In the eastern part of the country, Specifically in Zacapa you can find huevo zacaballo or which is basically two fried eggs over roasted steak. Other types of breakfast include milk cereals. 
The most common drinks are orange juice or other fruits, milk, atoll, and corn starch. The coffee is normally served with sweet bread also called panda mantica. In Honduras it is typical to start the day with homemade bread, with coffee, or a glass of milk. Then, a plate of food with beans, alongside eggs that can be scrambled or sunny side up, slivers of fried plantain, corn, tortillas, cheese, and butter. Versions of egg preparation vary, estrelados which consists of just cracking the shell, in torta or omelette, scrambled or boiled. Another typical breakfast are the baladas and tortillas with cheese, sometimes they are fried together with cheese in between. In the Garifuna culture, coffee is accompanied by minimo bread or coconut bread. A Jamaican breakfast includes ackee and salt fish, seasoned kalaloo, boiled green bananas, and fried dumplings. A traditional Mexican breakfast consists of eggs prepared in different ways, accompanied by beans with chili and tortillas. Also very traditional are chilaquils and entomatadas. In Nicaragua the typical breakfast consists of gallo pinto, eggs, cheese, corn tortillas and sweet plantains. Meals are normally accompanied by different juices and coffee. On Sundays, NACA tamales are the traditional breakfast. These consist of a mass of corn with rice, potatoes, pork, or chicken and sliced onions wrapped in plantain leaves and is usually accompanied by cacao as a drink. In Panama, breakfast is a heavy meal, especially in the interior of the country where hard labor requires it. It always includes black coffee or with milk with any of these sides, corn tortillas, traditional white cheese, another type of tortillas or torrijas made of wheat flour known as hojaldras. Another traditional breakfast side is bolo made out of either corn, white corn, or coconut that is wrapped in corn leaves and prinao that means it's filled with some type of meat. As protein, a large serving of beef liver with onion, scrambled or fried eggs, beef stew or taza joe, pork rinds, and different kinds of sausages like chorizo or morsela are the most popular. These are also accompanied by, slices of green plantain or cooking plantain, patacons, carimanolas, as well as different bread pastries both savory and sweet. These large breakfasts are normally reserved for special occasions while everyday breakfasts consist of more traditional food from the West like toast, ham, cheese, jam etc. It is important to mention that the prolonged U.S. presence has also influenced urban areas of Panama by introducing meals like cereal with milk as well as pancakes with syrup as traditional breakfast meals. The average starting time for breakfasts in the United States has been found to be 8.12 a.m., and varies from 8.08 a.m. in the south to 8.17 a.m. in the west. Breakfast often consists of a combination of hot or cold cereals, eggs, breakfast meats, and breakfast quick breads such as pancakes, waffles, or biscuits. Variants of the full breakfast and continental breakfast are also common. In the southeastern United States, grits and biscuits and gravy are popularly eaten at breakfast. In many regions around the country bagels are a common breakfast item, and are often served sliced in half, toasted, and spread with butter or cream cheese or other toppings. Another popular breakfast item in the United States are donuts, which are often consumed exclusive of other breakfast foods. Coffee is a common beverage, as is tea, and orange juice, tomato juice, and other fruit juices are consumed by people of all ages. In the United States, 65% of coffee is drunk during breakfast hours. Milk is also widely consumed, 
drunk either plain or prepared with various flavorings, such as chocolate or strawberry. Across the country, breakfast sandwiches are a common choice for the first meal of the day. A typical sandwich is composed of egg, cheese, and cooked breakfast meat such as bacon or sausage, on a roll, although regional varietals are common. In New Jersey, bacon is often swapped out of the breakfast sandwich and replaced with a processed meat called pork roll. Other areas alter the breakfast sandwich medium with regional favorites, in New York, bagels are popular and in the South, biscuits. A variation is the breakfast burrito, which originates from Southwestern and Tex-Mex cuisines. In Argentina, breakfast is simple, tostadas or medialunas, usually served with coffee and orange juice. Breakfast in Brazil tends to be lighter as Brazilians consider lunch to be a more important meal. It is called Café de Manja in Portuguese, which translates to morning coffee, and consists of a combination of bread, fruits, cheese, cereal, pau de cuajo, cakes, coffee, milk, and fruit juice. Regional differences also exist. A croissant, served mainly in France and Western Europe. A breakfast consisting of a novelty stamped waffle, cantaloupe melon slices, grapes, and butter. Photo taken in Courier House of Harvard College. A pancake from Japan, topped with butter and honey. Idly and somber, a South Indian breakfast. In-flight airline meal breakfast during a Thai Airways flight. Malta. Netherlands and Belgium. Norway. Poland. Romania. Russia. Serbia. Spain. Sweden. Switzerland. United Kingdom and Ireland. North America. Canada. Costa Rica. Cuba. Dominican Republic. Guatemala. Honduras. Jamaica. Mexico. Nicaragua. Panama. United States. South America. Argentina. Brazil. Gallery. Notes.